Hello there, this is Mary Ann here, Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality wherever you are in the world when you're watching. A huge shout out to you. I'll be doing air signs for the month of uh, April 2024. This is for your sun sign, rising or your moon sign. If they are in any of these signs, you might want to check this reading out. It is a general reading only, so... If it resonates, claim it. If not, move on. Uh, come back to it later on in the month because it is a predictive reading in part, although we pick up past and present as well, and it might make more sense to you then. Never will replace the need for one-on-one -on -one readings. Uh, I don't do one-on-one -on -one readings. I'm too busy doing these readings for many people. Okay, so uh, let's start with the Libra. The order that I read in does not matter one iota okay that those kind of old concepts of first and last etc etc that's just silly okay all right so and it's not applicable on this channel not applicable on this channel okay so let's look at libra let's get some clairvoyance for you libra and see what's uh there that i want to pick up uh well that could be picked up for you it's uh, almost like some of you are surveying the land. It's uh, Some of you could feel like you're in a position, so I'm getting like the fool at the edge of the cliff. Some of you could be in a position uh, where you're going to be making a decision about a new start soon. It's almost like a leap of faith is required. And, uh, you know, it's it's hard work. It's not easy to get to the destination that where you want to go but I do see a destination for you all right Libra let's see uh so some of you are looking to the future some of you are making decisions about the future some of you are making decisions about a could be even a destination that you might want to live but wherever it's like point uh from point almost B to A, you know, and a, it, not A to B, which is odd, because I feel that you've got to go around something to get to where you want to go, an obstacle or a challenge going round that to get to where you want to go. Okay, Libra, what's happening for Libra? Oh, I should have had a timestamp here. Well, let's uh, look at it at, say, um, I don't know, two, two minutes in. I'll check on that. Okay, Libra, what's happening for Libra in the month of April 2024? Libra, 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 Libra. What, what are the issues, challenges, opportunities, obstacles? What's coming up for Libra in April? In April, Libra, April. So we have here the Six of Pentacles, loans, debts, giving and receiving help. Some of you could actually be thinking about taking a loan out with that Six of Pentacles. Let's see what is accompanying that, the Daughter of Swords, some kind of truth coming up. Some of you could be facing some hard, um, I guess, hard facts about your finances, about, um, again, how quickly you can pay off a loan, for example, um, how you can free up money to get to where you want to go to. But they, it looks like financial decisions. And all I can say is before you take that leap of faith, it, it, you really do need to do a reality check. There's some kind of truth uh, here and it's using wisdom um, to, to consider the truth in any decisions that you make. Can I actually afford to do this? What do I need to do going around something to be able to afford this? The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Uh, it's also boundaries uh, and saying no as well. Uh, it's having the wisdom to say no. Somebody could be asking you for money. You're considering how am I going to do this? And uh, it, it's looking like strong boundaries are your answer. The High Priestess in the past, something came to light, I feel. Because I see the two moons here. Something came to light that you may not have known about. And it's like, oh no. That? I'm being asked to do that? We have here the Four of Cups in uh, crowning this reading. In some way you have, again, that moon. Uh, you've been disappointed by whatever else, whatever this is that's come forward to you. 
whatever somebody is telling you or has told you, it's like a secret emerging. It's been a disappointment to you or it could be a disappointment. Four of Cups is about three cups being lost and one cup remaining. But we have miracles here. So just when the situation looks like, wow, looks like it's no hope, something comes along like a miracle and gives you hope. And the here and now we have victory. Gosh, didn't that tide turn for you, Libra? What is challenging at the beginning of the month or is now challenging seems to free up and the wind starts to move in your favour. We have here the Six of Swords. Again, wind moving in your favour, moving out of troubled water. Victory over a very difficult situation, Libra, that you've been facing. The Four of Wands in the Hopes and Fears reunion, family um, hope. There's a hope here about uh, almost like abundance, um, good health. Whatever this issue is that you've been con considering, a reunion with yourself is all also. And we get the Three of Cups celebration. Something that starts off the month or is already uh, there uh, when you're watching this, uh, it does a complete U-turn. Something that looks like it's going pear shape actually does not. And now we've got the Three of Pentacles. You get the money to do what you want. There's a celebration. There's a win here. A win coming along when you most need it. Because you've had a lot with the Nine of Swords, a lot of anxiety uh, around this particular question. The Mother of Pentacles. Money providing for the people that you love. Now we have the Ten of Swords. Something is coming to an end or has come to an end. There's a surprise here and it's almost like it's divine justice. This situation turning, turning around, I see, in April for you, Libra. Let's pulse on the, uh, so I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot, the Mystical Shaman Oracle. And my own oracle, details of which you'll find on my website, the Revealing Light Oracle. Okay. Libra. What's happening for Libra in April? What's happening for Libra in April? The hummingbird moving quickly, productivity, things moving very, very quickly, events moving very, very quickly. The eagle flying, soaring, freedom, healing. And the hunter going after what you want. Some of you could literally be headhunted if you're still in the workforce. And the owl, we've got wisdom. Yeah, it's like you just, you... You kind of hang in there uh, for the long haul and as a result something turns around for you and it's almost like it's miraculous. Something that's been at a standstill brings great deal of light and passion and the ace of wands and the rainbow. There it is, the miracle. Something is miraculous for you in April. Now let's look at the Revealing Light Oracle. It is a spiritual oracle. And let's see uh, what the spiritual advice is for you all. Counsel, spiritual counsel for Libra in April. Spiritual counsel for Libra in April. Perspective. Put your focus on your inner reality to avoid living in someone else's. Where is your focus? Decide to focus on yourself. Connections, finding the spark of divinity in ourselves and others. Pluto energy, Pluto and Mars energy. Yeah, you could, some of you could have been doing a really uh, a lot of introspection. Um, but there's something, It's I just feel the energy is changing for you. Illumination, heaven is both within and outside of us. Notice the sign, the north node. 
the North Node, Spirit's presence. Notice Spirit's presence in your life. Because this situation that turns itself around is unexpected. You're not expecting this. And it is very, very good news for you. Moving into Renaissance and Freedom. I think you've been doing a lot of work, Libra, on yourself. And you're going to start to reap the benefits of that work. Let's move to uh, Aquarius at 10.30. All right, let's draw some. Well, let's get some clairvoyant guidance for you. What's coming here for Aquarius? What do I need to know about Aquarius? Lay down your sword is what I'm hearing. Uh, resting your sword on, on like a mantle type of thing, like the warrior. Warrior laying down the sword, uh, perhaps contemplating a complete change in, uh, in your life, but a complete change in the way you do, do things. Aquarius tends to be on the front foot a lot. They're a cardinal sign. This is about laying down the sword. It's about, uh, yeah, stopping to smell the roses, putting your feet up, enjoying yourself, taking a break. You're very much the devil's advocate, Aquarius. Very much the devil's advocate. Uh, and sometimes you just need to or want to spend time with yourself. Spend time not being so serious, not being the the leader of of the getting of wisdom, the leader of learning in that quiet way that you observe and learn. This is about this is about bringing some joy into your life. So show me Aquarius in April, please. The curse, interesting, wow. Now this person has uh, their, uh, like a hand on, on their mouth and it's like see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. It's that kind of thing. Um, interesting. I have Jupiter in Aquarius in my eighth house. <laughs> Not an easy placement um, for the eighth house at all. Uh, however, this is about... This is about yeah it's it's like um it's like not not uh it's a like aquarius can cruise they can take the current of um i don't know you know i'm cruising today it's that kind of thing i think there's a need to move away from this you know this speaking this being the devil's advocate, in other words, and just focusing in on yourself. The sweat lodge, yeah, focusing in on yourself, the vision quest in that sweat, sweat lodge to find something out. I think that's the direction that you're moving, Aquarius, or not, ever, not all Aquarians. And there is freedom there, <clears throat> away from the battle. Life away from the battle. And we get the drum. And it really is about listening for the beat of your of your own unique vibration or feeling your own unique vibration. There's a stepping back here for Aquarians. Thoughts of stepping back or an actual stepping back and focusing on what you need to do. To have that soaring air energy, that freedom that is so much a part of you. The seer, you're definitely the seer, the middle world, the middle world. So this is about how you go forward in your current circumstances and the changes that you need to make for the future. And you're going to be thinking a lot about that in April. Okay, let's uh, go to the Wild Unknown Tarot and we'll pull a Celtic Cross or my version of a Celtic Cross or maybe we won't. Okay, we'll just pull some cards 
and see where this leads you leads us cards and clarification past present and future please what are the considerations for the past present and future for aquarius in april aquarius in april aquarius in april please show me aquarius past present future aquarius in april The world ending something and the lovers, relationships. Mm, interesting. Contemplating the future. Some could actually be contemplating. Yes, I saw the little orb uh, ending a relationship. Okay, Aquarius in 2024. Aquarius in 2020, 20, 2024. Aquarius April 2024. Aquarius April. Aquarius April. April. 2024 show me aquarius past present and future okay so we get here in the past seven of uh wands feeling like standing your ground feeling like you have to defend yourself um while you are bringing uh bringing forward uh big picture uh, or considerations it's like aquarius doesn't it's aquarius isn't one-eyed they can see all sides a bit like libra we have the tower again contemplating restructuring change and then we get justice karmic this is a karmic point in your life uh where you are making those big decisions about the future the seven of cups choices feeling like you always have to it's like defending it's like oh same old same old can't they see this but what choice do I have? It does. It, I don't. Whatever the cho the choice that you're making or might be making in April, the difficulty that you're having making it has to do with what you're attached to. What it is, you need to do that deep dive, because this is a restructure that you're contemplating. What is it that I am attached to? Justice and the truth. Look look what's in the middle of that justice card. The truth. So I feel that... I feel that this decision that you're making or this assessment that you're doing about the future or your future will actually work out in the long run very well for you because your energy is all over this air energy is all over this the justice card a karmic point in your life the high priestess using your intuition to decide what you need to let go of what you need to change in your life to achieve that future that you want to achieve the Hermit card could be time again, feeling like I'm isolated, introspection, the vision quest, the sweat lodge. This is some fairly serious pondering that you're doing. You no longer want to give control of your life to other people. You want the control. And something that comes to fruition in time. Whatever this restructuring is, brings forward justice, the truth and clarity to you in your life. Use your intuition in making that decision. Okay, let's pull from the Revealing Light Oracle. Some spiritual consideration counsel for Aquarius. Spiritual counsel consideration higher thinking for Aquarius in April the collective consciousness awareness we are more connected than what we think this might be what you're fighting against foundations if something is out of balance go back to the start and start again this restructuring rebuilding of something and partnerships, giving and receiving, there is strength in unity. I think 
you are actually moving out of isolation toward more connection with others. But it's connection at a heart level, not so much connection. You know, I go to work and I have work mates and I deal with people in my work and it's frustrating or I, you know, the obstacles and challenging situations with people. You're moving away from that and there's a desire there, Aquarius, a long-range desire to move into more loving uh, connections that bring you joy and happiness. Exploration as well. Mars in Pisces. Embrace, embrace change in your life. It can lead to discovery and intuition. There was the high priestess at the base of the pack. Let go and trust yourself. Mm. Big life questions you're considering, Aquarius. Not all of you, some of you. All right. <clears throat> Let's move on to Gemini at 21.08. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What's coming up for Gemini? Gemini in April, Gemini in April. Okay, what am I seeing for Gemini? I see two people um, holding, like hands out and holding hands, uh, linking hands almost. Okay, so there could be reunions coming up, family situations. Um, they can be, could be challenging as well, challenging family situations, Gemini. But it's like you're going to surf those currents quite well. It's like even if the current's moving against you, you're able to move forward. That's an interesting image I got there. Even if the Gemini, even if the current's moving against you, you're able to move forward by surfing, bringing the boat or surfboard or whatever above the water and surfing the air current. So air is is mind water is emotion so rising above emotions difficult emotions rising above them will enable you to move forward wow that's a profound message for gemini from spirit some gemini's not all all right let's uh let's have a look at this gemini Gemini, 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 Gemini. What's coming up for Gemini in April 2024? Gemini in April 2024. Show me Gemini in April 2024. Gemini in April 2024. Okay, Gemini. Mm. Heartbreak, loss, divorce, betrayal. People letting you down. That's in the past. The present taking control of your life. Again, be it the one, you being in control. And the future, the son of wands, speaking your truth, being able to move forward in a new way. This is new thought patterns, new New ways of expressing yourself, speaking, speaking of what your passions are, refining your passions. Underneath clarifying the three of swords, you could have been self-sabotaging, not valuing yourself or your time or your talents enough. You could have literally been sabotaged by somebody else. That's in the past. That's past energy. The emperor, control, clarified by death, letting go. What have you let go of? Control. It's ironical, isn't it, that we have to let go of control to find control. When we're hanging on and we think we're in control or we're wanting control, it's the very time we don't have control. Let go and control will come to you. Victory. Victory over 
how you speak and what you speak. There's something here about a letting go, a letting go of control. Again, you're able to move forward with the current. You, you're able to move forward even though the current is against you. Maybe something was taking you in the wrong direction. Disappointment. Disappointment. Generally disappointment in others. Disappointment in yourself. There's a song, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. That's kind of like what it is for you. The Ace of Cups, speaking from the heart, speaking from the heart, new starts. There's something around your self-expression, Gemini, that's changing. It's like an awareness that rather than speaking from, <laughs> I mean, Gemini is an air sign, speak from the heart. There's been an imbalance in the way that you have been speaking. And instead it's about speaking from the heart, being heart-led, heart-centred and heart-led. Allowing your heart to speak for you for a change. The devil... What have I been attached to? What have I f been fearing? Opening up the heart. The devil is merely the darkness and the light of awareness shining through for us to move through that darkness toward the light of awareness around whatever this situation is for you, this feeling of being let down, this feeling of betrayal, this feeling of sabotage, disappointment. The Eight of Pentacles, work, skill, the moon. There's something that's coming to an end in the way that you're working. There's a surprise here and a truth coming forward. It's time to step back and do something in a different way. I'm going to clarify, clarify the Three of Swords and then the Devil card. Show me this Three of Swords, please. Show me this Three of Swords. Gemini. Yeah, the Tower. Wow, did a Tower moment come upon you. You've, you've achieved victory. Oh, there's the Star card. A lot of hope there. Show me this devil card. Wow. Show me the devil card. Show me the devil card, please. The five of pentacles. Let down. Victim. The vict feeling victimized. Being robbed of, of joy almost. Having to make a decision. Again, the fives arising from this tower and the three of swords. But there's something changed here, something coming to fruition in time. We get the seven of pentacles. Something else comes through that you've manifested. A solution comes through when you thought there was not any juggling and wisdom. Wisdom to move through and make the right decision. What's this this card here? Plan B. So there is a solution here to this whatever misfortune that you suffered in the past. Let's clarify this. Son of Wands, this is quick movement toward, uh, re there is a passion or motivation that's coming back in here and we get <laughs> clarified by the miracle card, the Nine of Cups, my goodness, it's a miracle, 
again. And the star card, hope is returning. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Your situation that's been so hard for so long is changing. And there's miracles occurring. And then quick movement forward for you. Give up whatever has hurt you in the past. You don't no longer need to be in that energy. It will only drag you down. Move forward. Okay, let's look at the Mystic Shaman Oracle for Gemini. I think, have I done this? I don't know. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll pull three cards anyway. All right, so uh, let's have a look at Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What's coming up for Gemini in April? Gemini in April. Okay, so we have here the Rainmaker. Aquarius, I think Libra or Aquarius got that as well. A cleansing and uh, a renewal. The upper world. The upper world. Spirits never far away. And there is abundance coming forward for you. The corn. Beautiful. Beautiful Gemini. The rainbow. And the holy mountain. Look out for change. Look out for completing cycles. The child, the disowned self, the ancient ones are watching. Are watching and giving you strength. That's beautiful. There's something very spiritual about this reading for you, Gemini. All right, let's pull from the Revealing Light Oracle. This is my own oracle, details of which you'll find on my website. There's also a virtual reading, one card reading you can do online on my website that I got uh, developed for my viewers uh, to go and use uh, the one card oracle virtually if you want to do that. All right, let's have a look at Gemini for April, Gemini for April, Gemini, April, Gemini, April. It's like you're picking the thorns out of your back. <laughs> Sorry, but that's kind of what I saw. I saw the thought, the swords, picking the swords out of your back. But that was too <laughs> brutal an image. Okay, Gemini. That's in the past. So we got impossible to possible. Impossible to possible. Conflict, resolution and the other building blocks of learning. There's a resolution here for you coming through. And we get change. At times not easy, but often necessary. Saturn putting in the work. And then we get meditate. Observe your thoughts. Let the negative flow away and feel your energetic vibration rise. Just stopping and pausing. You're so quick all the time, Gemini. It's just sit back and stop and pause. And feel your energetic vibration rise. Gateway. Spirits calling cards are never far away. Look for the magic. Look for the magic. All right. That's your reading, Gemini. Libra and Aquarius for April 2024. Thank you for tuning in. I'll be back again soon. <laughs>